how to make your own coconut yogurt. It's very easy. Now, whether you're going to do it with old coconut, aged coconut, or young Thai coconut, or any other kind of coconut, um, I'm going to show you how to open a coconut first. The way I do it is just easy. Right, basically what I do is I use my cheaper version, my cheap knife here in the kitchen. You always need one for times like this. You don't want to ruin your beautiful knife. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave uh, around this coconut so then I can pop open it. And what I'm going to do, see my hands are here, my hands are safe, on a chopping board that doesn't move. You've got your wet cloth under there, all nice and safe and secure, yeah? So basically, what I'm going to do, just have be patient. Now it's really important, if you're going to open this, if you're going to do it this way, that you clean around properly, so that it's all, all the skin is off, and it's, the nut itself is exposed, so that it could be opened easily. Now here you go, you got this. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to put it, see you've got three lines here, you want to break through one of those lines. What I'm going to do right now, is going to put my knife there, Open, right? Really, really easy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this water in here. I need two cups of young Thai or any kind of coconut meat. Or if you're going to use um, aged coconut, the brown coconut, follow the same consistency. Now, when you gain the coconut meat, I'm just going to show you here, it's nice and clear, is that you need to make sure you don't get all that brown stuff, you know. It's less of that brown stuff, the better it is. Now I have this trick where I use the back of the spoon here. You simply go like this and you, you see, see what's going on here? And then with your hand, you could just go around and pick that up. Yeah, really, really easy. If you get some of that brown stuff, it's okay, but try not to. That's it. So I would say that's about one cup. Some of this brown stuff out of here. Here we go. Beautiful. Now I'm going to do this for you one more time. Now here's again an example of what I was doing in there. See that? Technique. Makes life easy. Now again, these jars, it's exactly one cup and I'm going to add one cup of coconut water into this. If you want it to be thicker, add less liquid. But what's important here, the one something I want you to remember to do without fail is to make sure you have hot water. And when I mean hot water, I mean kettled hot water. And then let it cool down. Perfect. And what I want you to do is put probiotic, um, depending on um, how cold or how warm the temperature or the season is. The thing with the probiotic is that it needs to grow. There we go. Beautiful. I'm just going to put one in here. Now, it's pretty hot in here, it's summertime, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one capsule. If you have, if it's, it's, if it's uh, middle of winter for you, use two. Just so to, to make sure the probiotics are activated and they're ready to roll. Now, here I'm going to use some of this water. About half a cup. And then, what I'm doing here, is that I want these probiotics to start playing. I don't want them to hibernate. I'm gonna put it in here, see? The warm water is going to activate those probiotics. It's gonna say, come on guys, let's fool around. And then, in the meantime, whilst that's happening, I'm going to get my little temperature gadget here. You can pick one of these up from any sort of uh, coffee shops, you know, the shops that they sell coffee uh, materials, or, um, or chef shops for like five dollars, five Australian dollars, or you know, they're quite cheap. But they're amazing because they're going to let you know what's happening with your yogurt. The thing with yogurt is it can be very sensitive if we don't look after it very well. Because the probiotics could, you know, they could be um, activated for way too long and then they just will turn into sour and you don't know whether the yogurt is actually good sour or the bad sour. So this way you'll be able to control it. Okay, here we go. This is good now. I would say about 10 minutes is perfect. Uh, put it in here. Yeah. Now we're gonna struggle with this a little bit because not a lot of uh, water, liquid for this blender to work. Here I'm just gonna clean this area up for you to have a look. 
start off gentle, don't go high speed, let the product in there break down, and once that is breaking down, then we can take it to the next level. Here we go, it's happening now, beautiful, lovely, that's it. We just don't want to overheat those probiotics, just imagine they're already around about 30 degree temperature, 26, 30, and that's basically what you want. Alright, let's do the body cream check. Beautiful, nice and creamy, smooth, and that's us. Just gonna pull this into here. Pour it into a bowl, glass bowl, copper, whatever. Make sure you get it all out. So you want this nice consistency, yeah? And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my little temperature gadget and check it out. Yeah, look, it fits beautifully. Now I'm going to go, okay, what is it? 26 degrees. Perfect. I'm just going to put a nice cooking paper on top or cloth, whatever you have in hand. You leave it for four hours. After four hours, you can basically, you need to put it in the fridge, but then you can work with it. You can put salt in there, make it turn into a Greek uh, yogurt, coconut based Greek yogurt. Or you could, uh, what I'm going to do is turn into my favorite yogurt dressing. And basically this is what I'm going to do. This is the one that I've done earlier. Look how beautiful thick it is. It's just lovely. I'm going to have a little quick taste to see how it... Mm. Delicious. Now, this is one of my favorite superfood products. Loving Earth Acai. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to put this, put it back in the blender. It's alright, you get the gist. You know, make sure the blender is clean. But in this case, it's fine. We just blend some coconuts in here. I'm going to put it back in here and then I'm going to use a dry spoon. I would say about half, half a tablespoon or a tablespoon, depending on, on your likes, of acai part. And Bear with me. Infused saffron. Delicious. Can't go wrong with this, guys. And I'm gonna blend it. And basically what I'm going to do here, I'm gonna clean this up just to show you what it looks like. There we go. I'm just gonna pour this back in here. Delicious. This is absolutely beautiful to go with your raw brochet muesli's, granolas, um, or you could buy our uh, deluxe bikinis and, and add it in there with a bit of uh, your lacuma uh, nut milk. Beautiful. Look at it. Yeah, now what you do is you put that in the fridge for a couple of hours, it will set, become this beautiful, thick, superfood, coconut-based 